setting up and using Trimble Remote Assistant on a Trimble TSC3 controller. This video will demonstrate how easy it is to set up a Trimble TSC3 controller to use Trimble Remote Assistant. I have already added this TSC3 to the Connected Community Device Manager and I am connected to the internet. First, I enter my device credentials. To do this, I tap the Home icon. Next, I tap the Import Export button and then the button called Community Settings. In the Community Settings screen, I enter my Connected Community Organization name. In this case, it is Trimble HH Dan, and then I enter the password. The device ID is hard-coded and contains the device type and the serial number. Then I tap Accept to store my settings. To connect to Remote Assistant, I first tap the Trimble icon, then tap the System Info button. In the System Info screen, there is a button called Start Trimble Remote Assistant. When I tap this button, I can see my device credentials shown again. I tap Accept and the device connects to Connected Community and checks for updates. Once the connection is established, I see a dialog box that lets me know Trimble Assistant is now running. After I tap OK, there is a new icon in the status bar indicating Trimble Remote Assistant is active. Back in the office, my device can be seen in the Device Monitor on Connected Community. My colleague in the office clicks the yellow icon to connect to my device. This brings up a new window on their desktop called the Remote Desktop Window, where they see exactly what I am seeing on my device and can take control of my device. For example, if the person in the office pans the map in Remote Desktop Window, the map on my TSC3 will also pan. Or, when I click on the home icon on my device in the field, the screen in the office also changes. There are a number of functions at the top of the remote desktop window. I can show the screen in color, if I have a fast internet connection, or if I'm on a cell connection, I can change the screen to black and white to save bandwidth. I can also zoom or capture images in either bitmap or JPEG. When I am done with my Trimble Remote Assistant session, I can disconnect my device. First, I tap the Remote Assistant icon in the status bar and then tap the Disconnect button. This disconnects my device from my colleague in the office and ends my Trimble Remote Assistant session.